Have you ever loaded into a game of Premiere on a map you don't play very often, then you feel like you just don't know what's going on? That's your lack of game sense. Game sense is just as important as your mechanics. It's the ability to predict enemy behavior and making the best plays from that information. There's two ways to gain game sense in competitive games. First way is obvious, putting hours into the game of your choice. You'll be put into many different engagements and you'll see from you and your teammates perspective how the map is being played. Over time, you'll put together how different players from different skill groups are going to play the map. Have you ever played against legit players who just know where you are all the time? That's what it's like to have really good game sense. The second way of getting game sense is by watching gameplay of the game you're playing. Watching pro gameplay helps with understanding good positioning and overall good strategy. And watching your own gameplay will help with learning from your own mistakes and becoming better at the map. Have you ever checked a corner or a flank and got reminded of the game that made you remember to check that? Learning from your mistakes will have you more engaged so you don't have to make the same mistake again. You can also have game sense from other games you've played. A player who played Search and Destroy back in the day is going to have more game sense than a player who used to play only TDM on weekends. But that doesn't mean you can't create better game sense to match or even be better than other players. Game sense can be ruined by tilting. If you can't focus up and play the game, you start to say fuck it and rely more on your aim than your brain, which usually leads to more frustration and a lost game. If you get frustrated, take a second to think about the enemy team strategy and try to counter it. If the enemy uses a lot of utility, get them to waste their utility. If their A player is really good, put four players on B and have a lurk find the A player as they rotate. If you're having good game sense, share that with the team and make sure everyone benefits from what you know. This doesn't mean backseat game, just give good callouts and talk to your team at the beginning or the end of the round. If you're having trouble focusing, I have some videos that can give you more to think about and they'll be linked in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.